Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. What a huge day of content yesterday on Monday. We have to take a look about how the Icon Moments Upgrade SBC finally dropped, but it came with some other insane SBCs and the best value player pick upgrade pack that we have had this year. That 80 plus times four that we talked about in yesterday's video did drop on the game, but it dropped at such a cheaper price than what we expected it to be. All you need are nine gold cards you don't even need rares okay but you know technically i only have rares in my club so i'm not going to do one of these on the video but this has got gold commons and gold rares up a little bit in price i'll talk about that but this is just kind of getting everybody in that sbc crafting grinding the SBC menus are what have the most hype right now in foot captains because of this 80 plus player pick, the icon moments upgrade that dropped uh, repeatable two times yesterday on the game as well. Now, I think this SBC is still a little bit overpriced, but a lot of people think that it's decent value and we'll talk through that a little bit. It's craftable though, right? With the 80 plus player pick being cheap and giving you four options, these are so good. They are so cracked for fodder, um, you know, and for the captain's cards. We actually packed a lot of captain's cards yesterday on uh, stream when we were live streaming, doing some share plays. Link down below in the description if you want to be a part of those. Uh, so that was really hype and that's kind of the, all the rage right now on the menus. And then also they dropped a gamble pack yesterday, uh, a gamble upgrade pack with the 85 plus player pick. So it was a big day. Oh, we had the Bressy as well. I know that's of note, but it was a pretty big day of content yesterday on Monday. That was a little bit of a surprise being completely honest, but that has moved the market a lot as well. And it has dropped prices on this game of some cards that are out of packs. One that comes to mind right away uh, and not necessarily just cards that are out of packs, but you know, cards on the whole market in general, Tony Cruz 391. Okay. I just searched it for 11. And there was none there. So I think I might have just got a quick snipe. But like this Tony Cruz card, I believe, was like 440 or 450 before content yesterday. And now he is like 420,000 coins. So a lot of cards have dropped off a bit. And fodder has risen because coins are being drained. With that Icon SBC, the 85 plus player pick, and the 80 plus times 4 player pick, people are spending coins to go and do that SBC and to do other SBCs with the fodder that they get from it. Again, it's a big crafting time right now in this game. So speaking of SBCs, I want to talk about one big leak that we had yesterday uh, on today's video. And you might have seen some prices moving and a very popular player on the top of Footbin for a while because of this moment's icon leak. We're going to take this leak with a grain of salt, but we'll talk more about that today and talk about how we might see prices moving on the market today on Tuesday. Is it going to be another W day of content or could EA pull it back just a little bit? But again, also talk about how content was affected yesterday and how prices were affected on the market. So a little bit more looking backwards to yesterday in today's video um, at the market movements and stuff like that. Um, and then a little bit at the end talking about today on Tuesday. But there was a lot of action yesterday. So that is what we have to cover. So if you're excited for that 84 plus player pick, hit the thumbs up on the channel and of course subscribe. If you're new, that's the SBC that I want to go back and talk about just a little bit more. I know we talked about it some already, but this is this is insane, right? Uh, yesterday, I was shocked to see the price of this SBC only requiring nine golds. The 80 plus times three player pick, I'm pretty sure, required nine golds and like th three or five rares, I think. I don't even remember, but this is so cheap, such great value. Um, and, you know, that, that has risen the gold common cards. Uh, on the market because people are going out and buying those to get that 80 plus player pick done. One tip I will give you, and this happens every time we have a, a player pick or an upgrade pack that requires commons. Right now, commons are like 700 to almost 800 coins a piece. And it's crazy that people are paying 800 coins for these commons when in reality, you can go buy the rares for like 700, 750 coins. So like you can save on average especially on bid, right? You can get a lot of these gold commons and gold, or sorry, gold rares on bid for like 650 to 700 coins. Like, look at these. These are expiring without many bids on them. So that's 100% a tip I would give you. Go out and bid on gold rares and non-rares on both um, and try to get them for like less than, you know, 700 coins because that's kind of the going rate for the commons. But everybody says, oh my goodness, it doesn't require rares. So they go and buy the commons when in reality, the rares are cheaper. So my advice to you would be, buy gold rares if you're doing that SBC. 
Now, I did a bunch of those yesterday. Didn't pack anything super insane, but I got a lot of good fodder, and that is going to enable me to get this Icon Moments upgrade done for a lot cheaper. Now, talking about this SBC, this is what really dropped prices on the game a good amount yesterday because this SBC, which I think, and this is just my opinion, this is coming in a little bit expensive for my liking. It's not overpriced, though. I, I rethought what I was talking about in yesterday's video. With this Icon Moments upgrade, right now it's 785. It was like 750 yesterday when it first came out. Fodder has gone up a little bit. Uh, you know, me wanting this to be at like four to 500K, I was lowballing it, right? That was a little bit too low to be realistic. That would have been actually way too cheap. I didn't realize still how there's a lot of those icon moments in like the 500 to 1 million coin range. Like uh, there's a lot of icon moments in there. So if they release this any cheaper than like 600K, then it would be kind of too cheap. And EA would be giving us such a great cheap SBC for a gamble when there's a lot more icon moments that are still in that 650 to 700K plus price range. So I was a little bit low on my estimation of what this would cost, but I still think it's about like 100 I wish this was like 600 to 650K instead of 785, right? I wish that the last 88 squad that is in here would have been an 87. I think that would have been a little bit more fair. But it, you know, it is an upgrade SBC that gives out the best version of the icon cards that we will see on the game this year. So with that in mind, I don't think it's terrible value. I think it's a little bit expensive, but EA is smart with this stuff, guys. I'm telling you, they know what they're doing, right? They drop a great player pick SBC that is cheap. They know that people are gonna grind that. So what they do is they just slightly overprice the icon moments upgrade. I would not by any means call this cheap. I know some people yesterday were saying this is cheap. To me, 780,000 coins right two weeks before team of the season, that's a lot of coins, right? That's a lot of coins that you're gonna be able to use when SBCs come out during team of the season for cards that are in game. And you're gambling that right now on potentially getting an icon moments card that goes for like 150K or 250,000 coins, like a moments, uh, the Van Nistelrooy or Rye card or something like that. Now, of course, you've seen some of these open as well, right? I, we packed a Eusebio and a Cruyff on the stream today. We also packed, uh, I forget what our lowest tier card was. We packed a Puyo, it was like 500K. We, we packed some cards that were not good, right? So Baresi as well, I think we packed yesterday too. Um, so, you know, it's a gamble SBC, right? So if you want to craft it, and if you can get this done, like I, I think I'm going to get it done out of pocket. And with the 80 plus player picks, the money that I spend on this kind of put into it, probably going to be able to get it done for a couple hundred K which is not bad. I've got I've got a Lewandowski and a Cristiano Ronaldo still in the club. Um, I'm hesitant to put this Ronaldo into an SBC because the dupe theory, pack luck, guys, I'm telling you, the dupe theory is real. The, the one guy that we packed moments Eusebio for already had a prime Eusebio in the club. Um, and then somebody else we packed, um, it wasn't Cruyff, but we packed another decent icon. I think it was Del Piero. He had a Del Piero in the club as well. So I might just keep this Ronaldo in the club because I think EA is going to give him a team of the season because it's Ronaldo. And I want to have that little bit extra juice just in case, you know, team of the season Ronaldo wants to pop out. But, you know, I, I think this is an SBC that a lot of people are going to craft this week. And with this player pick being out, you know, EA, GG's, they know what they're doing. They're, they're draining coins off of the market, especially ahead of a two, two weeks ahead of a big promo like team this season. They're gonna go out of their way a little extra the next two weeks to try to take coins off of this market and it's working. They also did that yesterday with the 85 plus player pick which uh, I think it was like an 84 rated squad and an inform. Now this is gonna be repeatable again on Wednesday. So we'll be able to re-up. Uh, and I think that on Wednesday, we'll start talking about SBC fodder in a second. Um, I think that you saw fodder on the lower tier spike mostly because of this, but your fodder on the, you know, the 86 to the 89 to the 90 rated cards, that went up yesterday mostly because of the icon moments pack. So if you bought fodder over the weekend, big W, you're sitting pretty. Uh, you know, these 85s are up like almost one and a half to 2K a card after one day, which is really solid. Um, your 86s are up like 2K a card. Your 84s are, are gone up about a thousand coins a piece as well. Your 88s were like 28K, now they're 33. So really good rises on fodder. Now you're like, Nate, should I be selling this? Here's my opinion on SBC fodder, right? And we talked about it in some in videos previously, right? Yes, these cards have gone up. 
Uh, you don't want to wait until Thursday or Friday to sell them, of course, because people that invested are going to be selling right before a brand new set of lightning rounds for Team 2, which is you know going to be cracked. Um, as we see the leaks and don't have cards that were leaked earlier, rumored for Team 2, I would honestly right now for all my fodder cards, I still think that you have people crafting SBCs throughout today on Tuesday and tomorrow on Wednesday. That 85 plus player pick is coming back again on Wednesday. I don't know. The only thing that would you know hurt fodder value right now is um, we could have UEFA marquee matchups today on Tuesday because of course it is a Champions League week and we'll talk about that a little bit more in this video as well. So that could bring a little bit of supply, but then I still think there's a lot of demand today and tomorrow. So probably between today and tomorrow, you would want to look to cash out on some of that stuff. I would not hold it too far past Thursday, especially into Friday. You're going to see those fodder cards drop back down again, especially because they've been doing lightning rounds later on in the week. They didn't do any lightning rounds yesterday. And again, like I mentioned, the UEFA marquee matchups could potentially be content that we see today on Tuesday as well that could drop that fodder and supply some of the captain's cards a little bit on the market. So that's kind of the situation with fodder. I would be be lazy listing it, right? Like we just looked at Holland, it's like 33,000 coins. But of course, if you're not in a hurry to sell it like this exact hour, you know, list list your Holland up for, you know, 35, 37,000 coins, a couple thousand coins over the, the going rate. Because if you compare price and look through a few of these cards, you see them listed, right? 35, 36K, 37. All it takes is for you to list your card you know, some people are listening at 55 here. All of a sudden your card falls behind a card that's like 55K, then there's a 49. And, you know, somebody who's just kind of lazy buying and comparing price on a card like this sees that yours is the cheapest in that cards that are shown at the end as they're expiring. And you might get a few lazy buyers. So that's what I would do with the fodder. That's kind of our general rule of thumb as well. Listed a couple thousand coins over. And then I think, you know, in the next 48 hours you want to get out on some of that stuff before you get into the end of the week. That's usually the smart play with fodder. Now, again, looking at the rest of the market, metas have been dropping. You know, I've got my eye right now and I'll be I'll be 100% honest with you and shout out a card that I'm watching right now is this Kamavinga uh, because he was like 470,000 coins yesterday and he's getting a plus one on Thursday and Real Madrid are playing today in Champions League. Now, of course, again, I know this card does not get upgraded for Champions League games, but with, with the hype of Real Madrid and just knowing that this card, again, like I mentioned, was that much more in price just yesterday before this SBC dropped, this was the common trend you saw on the market yesterday. But I think that this drop off is pretty heavy, right? Look at this. Four, four, he was between 450 and 475,000 coins. And just right now, he's 413. So um, if I can snag one of these under 400, especially with that big game coming today, Real Madrid Chelsea, the second leg to decide who moves on in the Champions League, there's going to be some hype around Real Madrid today. I think this card could go back up to like 440. So if I can snag a couple of these at 400, I could see that card rebounding back up. Now, it's not going to be the same case for all these cards. Like, take a look at Nani right now. He's 299, and he was 360? He was he was between 320 and 350 yesterday. Like, look at this card. It's on a roller coaster, man. So, I mean, even on Sunday, he was down as low as, like, 330, and he was even 380 before that. So, you see these cards dropping off a lot more even yesterday because of the content on the game, Gelson, uh, Gelson Martins is 560. That's down for him. As we take a look at a few more fantasy foot players, Martial is 516. Coutinho, 1.68. Yo, okay, yesterday he was like 17, went to 18, and wow, like look at this drop off after content yesterday, man. I'm telling you, these SBCs right now are draining some coins off of the market. It's it's evident to see Awar is down like 30k. Um, you, you can take a look at some foot birthdays as well. Dybala is under 900, right? Uh, Paqueta, 575. Ooh, Davinson Sanchez, 140. Even links to the Yoris that is out right now. I think that was a bit over-invested in by a lot of people that thought that car was going to rise with the links uh, to Yoris. So I totally understand that. Um, and then, you know, you just look through a lot of the market right now and you see prices that are down, including these, some, some of these road to the finals. Uh, that I see, especially with some hype today. Ooh, Mane is one, two, six. All right, I'm gonna keep an eye on this Mane because again, look how rare he is, right? And this is where I would be trading right now on the market as I'm kind of watching this Kamavinga right now, hoping, hoping for, ooh, 408. Okay, that's interesting. Where's this bid? I'll take a 405. I'll take a 405. Okay, let me let me go look at Mane because Mane was literally 1.35, um, you know, yesterday. 
Now, they don't play today, but again, getting closer to the potential upgrades for these cards and the live matches that they have, they've been, um, they've kind of gone up in price. So is he, is he there? One, two, five, five is sitting. All right. I'm going to let that sit. It's late night. We might get some undercuts and I didn't win that bid. I'm going to let that sit, but that's just a really rare card. I bought two Renato Sanchez yesterday. Um, this was even before the 6 PM panic selling. I, I bought, um, Renato for 820. Oh, no shot. Is he back up? Okay, he's 860, 865. I bought two Renatos at 820 and 817, sold one of them for 900. And if these two sell at 860, then I'm I'm looking at a Renato that's back to 900. So, you know, with the really rare cards right now, if you're trying to make coins, when you see these drop-offs, like I was just looking at with the um, Kamavinga as well, you know, there's a, there's a ton of cards that you can do this with, right? Because people are still out there building teams, trying cards out. Uh, I'm going to let Flippin catch this, catch this price, hopefully, since it's late at night. Just kidding. Okay, I'm not going to let Flippin catch that. Ooh, 404. Give me that. Give me that. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. We're involved. You're, you're seeing some live trading on the video right now, which is not often what happens. But that's the kind of cards that I would be looking at right now on the market if you're trying to trade today and just try to make some quick flips. Because I know a lot of you guys are still trying to make coins um, and get that coin total on the top left higher before team of the season does get here. But throughout the rest of this week, just make your trading quick flips, right? With this Kamavinga, I'm hoping that he bounces back up to the 440, 450 range. And then after that, I'm probably going to sell him like today. I'm not going to hold on to this card very long just because I know um, with all of the SBC content that is out right now, that's probably going to cause people to not hold on to as many cards if they want to sell items to go to an icon pack, uh, to do more icon moments SBCs, which is what we'll transition to talking about next. So I would just not be holding too many cards right now, even if you're trying to like trade with them just like I was right there uh, with that Kamavinga item. So speaking of icon moments, we did have one yesterday and it's the it was the Beresi. Um, and I think this SBC is really not that good. Uh, it, with fodder going up, this card is kind of valued at right now on Footbin is like 569K and his card on the market is coming in uh, at right around 520K, which I don't necessarily understand why he's 520K. I get it. It's the best version of Beresi that we've ever had. But I think that this Beresi icon card is going to end up being like 300K in two weeks when we actually get two team of the season. I know icon moments have dropped off so much. But if you want to craft this card again, and you're like, Nate, I'm going to be able to get this done in this week or the next two weeks with player picks for 300K, knock yourself out, right? Again, I like my bottom line is I like all these icon moments SBCs because they're out for 90 days. They're going to be out during team of the season. It's going to be great to craft these cards and put them in your club and collect them if you want to, depending on how many packs you do during team of the season. So really like that once again, even though it's a little bit more expensive. Now, this is the leak that we're talking about, right? Maldini Prime Icon Moments has been added as an SBC for the Foot Captains promo. Finally, a good one. Now, Sheriff says no info on the release date yet. And Rage Effect here, a Twitter trader, some of you guys may know, um, he says R9 mid V2. And he's saying that because Sheriff is releasing this leak without a release date. And times before where we've seen leaks that have turned out to be not that accurate, they've come without release dates. So we think that Maldini could be coming. But again, like I mentioned, we kind of take that with just a grain of salt. But Moments Maldini, of course, is down. He's 2.4 million coins at the moment after he was before this leak, I think on Sunday, he was between like 2.7 and, and 2.8. Even yesterday, he was 2.7. The leaks came out. He went down to like 2.4 mil, 2.46. What, what are the sales histories? What's this looking like? 2.44, 2.4 flat, 2.5, 2.5. I mean, com being completely honest, this Maldini on the market right now, if that 2.4 mil one is sitting, that'd be a bit of a risky play. But uh, that's kind of the lowest that he's been. So I'll see if that's actually sitting or not. And it is. Wow, 2.4 mil is sitting right there. But, you know, if I'm going to make any profit on this, you know, I, I would like to see it a little bit lower to, just with how the market is right now. I'm not going to expect him to fluctuate back up to like two, five highs, which he might, but I'm going to hold for an undercut there. I'm not, I don't want to put my coins in that something that risky, even though I have a lot of coins, of course, I'm going to, I'm going to let that slide, but that's kind of the leak that we have right now. And that would be a big icon moments player SBC. If that were to drop, I think the SBC would probably still come in at two and a half million coins. It'd be very expensive or a low two million coin range, maybe. 
But that would be one that people would start to work for because that's just such a big name in terms of Icon SBCs uh, on this game. So speaking of Icon SBCs for today, I'm going to stop guessing on which ones I think are going to get dropped. Um, except no, I'm not because the only one that I've heard that has not been released yet is Beckham. Because if we had Baresi yesterday and I talked about Beckham in yesterday's video. Raul Schweinsteiger, Zanetti, Baresi. Uh, unless something new changes and happens, then I honestly think that it would be um, Beckham today, which a lot of people would be very happy with. I also don't know if we're going to see uh, another foot captains player SBC because we had Fernandinho uh, and Joaquin back-to-back -back days. And I think Tuesday today would be one where we might see another one of these. There's no leaks for that. I'm just kind of thinking. So today for content, we might have our daily icon moments SBC, um, UEFA marquee matchups, maybe another player SBC, and that I, might be it. I don't know if EA is going to drop anything else super special um, uh, around those lines or if they're going to do anything out of the ordinary today. You can see that last week's UEFA marquee matchups is going away. I think there will be new ones that will come out. So the, the matchups that will be uh, a part of this one today for the new one will probably be leaked at some point as, to, as well. So just kind of keep an eye on Twitter uh, for some of that. As for my account and trading, you just saw me buy that Cruz and Kamavinga. Um, but I got two Neymars at 800,000 coins. I thought that was way too cheap last night. And then here's the other Renato Sanchez. The 869, 865 is still there. So if nobody else relists, I'm going to list this at 897. And maybe we'll get a sale this hour. That would be a really, really nice flip. Other than that, that Neymar card, as he is getting closer to going out of packs, if he peaks back up to like 870 or 880, I might take my coins there. But I'm just going to keep watching the market, trying to make some quick flips and trades on some of these cards. I was focused on player picks a lot yesterday, which is, I think, why I'm right now. Ooh, 124. No shot. Wow, people are actually undercutting this Monte card. All right, that's got me a bit interested. So if I saw, I mean, I'm getting a little greedy here, but if, if, I, saw, if I saw any lower than like that, probably going to snatch up the card because I know I can sell him in the 1-3 mids um, at least before the whole market drop yesterday. That's kind of where he was. Now, last thing I want to talk about in this video once again is um, the communication we had about compensation. Now, I know this isn't affecting a lot of you guys and I wanted to talk about it at the end of the video because I'm sure that most people watching this are not affected by this. But if you know anybody and if you saw this tweet yesterday, you know that people that packed the incorrect hero items, because like with the ones that we have in packs right now, of course, the hero captains, Melito, Di Natale, Dempsey, Junberg, and Mario Gomez. Um, EA said, we are aware of some players receiving hero items instead of the captain version. This issue has been addressed and we will be following up with impacted players in game in the coming days. So if you have any of these cards on the market at the moment, there might be a little bit of extra supply. Um, like we talked about, I think it was in Friday night's video, uh, you saw people packing those old versions of the Heroes card. So just watch out for that compensation in the next couple days of this week. So I know there was a lot to cover. I know there's a lot going on in this game. Good luck if you're grinding the 80 plus. If you're grinding the Icon Moments upgrade, let me know who you got down below in the comments. I haven't packed any promo cards yet from the 80 plus player pick, but I'm going to be hitting these. I know I said I was going to be careful with my coins, but that's why I'm going to try to trade um, at the same time as doing a lot of this upgrade pack nonsense this week and crafting and all that good stuff is because you know, I got to try to pack myself a Yadis and a Dempsey through the player picks and stuff like that. So I'm going to try to make sure that I give myself ample opportunity uh, to get some good pack pulls. And I'm going to trade with this combo thing guy, I think. So maybe tomorrow we'll, we'll watch this card price together. If it rises up in the morning, we'll take some we'll take some dubs and we'll take that profit. Was that a 406 that I saw? Yeah, man, this guy at 400K is going to be my jam. So hopefully he can rise back up with some Madrid hype. Uh, and he, he gets an upgrade this weekend. So... That'll be our card that we watch tomorrow. So keep an eye on that, Adam. Um, if he's still down there low and you want to snag one, go for it. Um, we'll see what happens with that card tomorrow. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up on it. Of course, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you are new. It has been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.